Hello guys, I am Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and we are here with lesson number 10 on learning how to use the most excellent Raspberry Pi. We've been going through a lot of Linux lessons, kind of learning how to control the Pi with Linux, but there's something I want to talk a little bit more about and that's how to properly shut down the Pi. And We sort of mentioned this very early on. The easiest way to do it is to just type in sudo, uh, let me get my window here live, sudo halt and that should successfully shut things down. Uh, if you, uh, I'm not going to do it because then, of course, I would lose my, uh, I would lose my terminal window here. But sudo halt is the best way to do it. Uh, the thing to really understand though is, is that it's very easy to corrupt your little SD card and if you just take the power off of the Raspberry Pi without properly shutting it down first, there's a reasonable chance that you're going to corrupt the card and you can start having kind of odd problems. Either it's going to completely not reboot and you got to install the operating system uh, again or you're going to start having you know peculiar operations. So the, the Raspberry Pi and Linux are not real forgiving about not shutting down properly and so make sure that you do sudo halt before you take the power off. Now, now even more important, never take the SD card out while the thing is powered up. If you need to get the SD card out, you need to number one, shut it down using sudo halt. Number two, after it is shut down, get a few, a few moments to shut down. After it is shut down, then take the power off. Come over here and take the power cord off. Then once you have the power cord off, then take the SD card out. If you're going to put the SD card in, go the opposite direction. No power to it stick the SD card on, then put the power on, then when you put the power on it should boot up. But you very important to do things in that order. Another command if you don't want to, like if I just did a sudo halt it's going to shut the Raspberry Pi down. Then to get it to come back up I've got to unplug it and plug it back in. If you want to just shut it down and turn it back on you can do a reboot. <coughs> sudo reboot will shut down and then we'll bring it back Okay. There's another way that you can shut down, and sometimes I like to do this. You can do sudo shut down, and then after shut down, you say minus H, which is telling it to halt everything. So it's going to halt everything. It's going to shut down, and then you say now, meaning right now. Okay, and then it'll just do it. There's one other <coughs> option that you can do on the shutdown, and if you put minus R, it'll actually halt everything, shut it down, and then reboot. So how do you decide whether to shut down or reboot? Well, if you've installed something new and you just want to kind of do a reboot to maybe activate an installation, you know, sometimes you have to, 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 to uh, reboot after you install something. You want to do a reboot or a sudo shutdown minus H now minus R, and that will shut down and reboot. If you just want to shut it down to turn it off, you want to do a sudo halt or a sudo shutdown minus H now. Okay, this has been a quick lesson, but take care of that SD card, take care of your Raspberry Pi, and uh, tune in in a few minutes for lesson number 11. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com. If you like these lessons, give me a thumbs up. Think about sharing the lesson. Talk to you guys later.